In four short days, we are scheduled to dyno tune Mina's V6 Swap Turbo Civic. And as of right now, the car has no engine or transmission. And to top that off, we are going to paint the entire thing before the dyno. Stupid, I know. But here we go. Hey, that rhymed. That was pretty well timed. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. I hope we don't blow it. What well, rhymes with blow it? made this battery mount. It's ugly, but it holds me up, which means it'll hold that up. You may notice the entirety of what we've done in the last two months is out of the car. We'll get to that in a moment. If you follow me over here, I spend hours polishing this to a mere finish. This is the rear, so I didn't spend too much time polishing it. That one's the front, and it looks like a freaking piece of glass. How did those bungs on cap that off? Well, did that bung on there? Catch can. This has way too many of these for us, and so we capped all those off, and we were using those two. I welded that tab on. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, we got this little tool that makes this a lot easier, so I made these lines for the catch can. Also, in typical idiot fashion, I made this e-brake. Still has a locking mechanism there so it can function as an e-brake, but once it is properly hooked up, he can zip this thing back when he's going -da 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 -da, and then let go. This is Mina's block. You might be wondering why this block is naked. These are his old H-beam rods. They have done really well. For some reason, that one discolored, the rest of them look brand new. This year, he has forged I-beam rods from P2R and Trom pistons. These rods are probably good for somewhere 800 to 900 is kind of the guesstimate. And these other ones we got should be good for a thousand like very easily. And then the pistons are good for a lot more power than those stock boys. In the rear, we got new ones of those because one of them was bent for some weird reason. He now has disc brakes in the rear, which he did not have previously. 67 millimeter turbo. Beautiful amateur stainless welds. Beautiful amateur MIG welds for the manifold. You've seen all that. Wow. How cheap and terrible this epoxy kit is. I agree. It's a I think used shot glass. How yeah. much was this? 120 uh, bucks? 125 bucks. You get a used shot glass full of In hardener. That. Oh yeah, the, used, uh, this was a toilet paper toilet roll holding yeah. <laughs> this to the, it was the stupidest, cheapest. We did that side. So now we got good. sugar, that's sugar, yeah? Sugar, yeah. And then yeah, you take this bolt off and then there's one on this side right here. And then you put a water hose and water. And it just gets all, yeah. dissolves and then you all take the sugar. The water pump off too, so it gets everything nice. out. Just look at how thick that is. It's like flubber. It looks so yummy. It's like Smurf. I was gonna say blue cupcakes, but you're. You know, to each their own. I guess. I'm a big fan of Smurfs. Yeah. Okay, yes, you are. So, First. Show the Oh yeah, here. This is how so, we got the block perfectly leveled. <laughs> yeah. It's leveled, I think. Voila. Yep. The other way, please. Yes. Mm, bingo. Money. Does that not smell like Cold Stone? Uh, it does. Like it when also you... smells like the crap that when you go to the dentist and they drill and fill. I think it's uh... Not too shabby? No, not bad at all. You're getting these and the heads decked. Decked, yep. Cool. A valve job on the heads, so compression should be Dead perfect. on it, yeah. yeah. There's some strong smurfed right there. Where? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Just in case this goes boom, boom, I would like to, uh... Oh, oh. that was uneventful. So we're just capping this? Yeah. Okay. So how do you want me to put the straps on that you're laying on top of? Welcome. You're welcome. I'll go back to doing what I was doing. No, give me a hose. You're not kidding. Give me a hose so I can fit it through here. Suck my. You know what I trust less than. Oh man, I don't know if it gets any worse. An axle that you put together. Wow, that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> what is Whitney Houston's favorite coordination? Die. And I. And I. 
<laughs> okay. Nothing. What you doing? Nothing. What you do? That's just. It is rough. <laughs> yeah. It shows all the dents. So hood's wrecked. That panel is wrecked. <laughs> this is why nothing gets done. <laughs> All right, so we are in final push mode. We got the high build primer on the car. Mina sanded this whole thing, got all the lines smooth. Again, we're not going for perfect, just there are some big dents. We wanted to fix the big dents. The big dents are fixed-ish. Wish me luck, pray for me. It's gonna be, tomorrow's gonna be a brute. You do want, yeah, hide. So I already showed them what we were going for, right? <laughs> and so we grabbed a hole saw <laughs> and we tried to make, we couldn't make octagons. No. So As we made tell, circles. He tried. And um, it's gonna be blue. What did you, what did you describe that look as? Oh, those dogs. Dalmatian. Yes. It was okay. starting to look like a Honda Civic that Coella DeVille <laughs> would drive. Yeah. And so we are gonna swallow our pride and we have enough of that blue, and we're just gonna shoot the whole thing blue before we run out of time to top coat this. Yep. So we do it. <sighs> the hood's the only part that I'm like, hey, that doesn't look bad. I know. But. Because it doesn't have any circles. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. So, in case our experiments weren't um, terrifying enough, I had just a small amount of purple left, and I convinced. Mina, to let me dust it because it's got this really fine metallic in it and you guys probably can hardly even tell and then on the back quarter panel because i messed up and went dark here on accident we kind of went darker here and then went light oh, and darker yeah. and then went light mm. we should have done that on the whole thing that already looks cool yeah i know that's all right He's okay. it kind of looks blotchy too and you can still see the dalmatian dots but we're just gonna go with it because uh you could you could definitely see the oh, they're gonna, on camera. Yeah. No, that the, oh. the purple. Oh, yes. I, obviously, they're all going to see that. Oh, but. yes, yes. And then the hard freaking line for the Ooh. white and the blue. What a hard line. And then that one for the black. I wonder if the blue is going to be different blues under the white and the black. Like the base. It covered really well. So, it, okay. But it probably will be. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. So, yeah, we'll find out. How that looks. <laughs> okay, now pay attention. I want to show you guys something. See how that looks. Man, it looks like I killed that paint job. Or if we come here, you could see all of the dust in that clear coat. So be be aware. Oh wow, look how good psych. Um, all right, so Color, color's cool. Went a little splotchy with the extra experimental thing that we did. You could see kind of all over the place, but, you know, uh, roof is full of dust. There is plenty of orange peel. I tried putting a bunch of reducer, and I went heavy, and I only have, uh, where are the runs at? I saw some run on the other side. It's not bad, and it's, it's workable. We're going to uh, thousand grit the whole hood, 
and then clear it again in the booth and uh, get rid of all that dust. Oh yeah, right there, solid sag to uh, complement the tape line that we didn't take down. <laughs> and then this tape line was so aggressive that it caught, <laughs> it caught more of that other blue. My sweat from my forehead dripped right here, which was inconvenient, but luckily that was on the last coat so we could wet sand that out. This is uh, very hypocritical because earlier on, I mentioned that paint jobs are hard and you know, you might as well do it right and blah, 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 blah. Well, we obviously didn't do this one right at all, but the blue is cool and uh we really didn't do a good job on the body works all the dents are still it's, i mean it, it looks good i'm happy with it mina really likes the color we're happy with it um but i'm just correcting what i said earlier because this is not a well done or correct paint job and earlier i was talking about painting like i know what i'm doing so just wanted to clear the air in that department mina should be on his way and the plan is to put the engine in today because we have to get tuned. Time to make sure everything's good, nothing's leaking before we get on the dyno and uh, waste our buddy's time. So again, I also learned that I should have been shooting at like 30 to 35 PSI is what one of my uh, painter friends told me. And I was floating around like 20, 25. He said on bigger panels, you wanna up the PSI and that usually helps it glass out. So sorry, Mina, uh, I'll, I'll learn next time. Maybe when you buy something else or we change the color in a week, we'll do a better job. Down raises the pressure up. Okay. So you want me to Get possibly it to adjust 40, it? 40, yeah. Okay. So just push it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't have throttle cable yet. Okay. I don't think I should be able to press the gas. But... Just prime it first, yeah. 40. Do it again. Okay. Right up. It's almost quiet. Where's the it's not very loud. Surprise! Hi. <laughs> okay, what you got? I have been busy on the other side and you've been busy here. Everything is on and everything has bolts and nuts, so that's a okay. good thing. That is a good thing. Uh, brakes are bled. Uh, it has oil in it. I'm trying to think. Just love stuff, really, before Friday. And then time to make flames and noise on Friday. Yeah. Is the plan. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do the boost controller here. Okay. I'm gonna switch this out for a straight, so it goes straight to wastegate. Cool. And I'm gonna wire it into the ECU, put wideband in, and it should be good to go. Cool. Fuel New fuel lines, a... Brand name fuel pressure regulator. Yep. Uh, new pistons, new rods. Everything's decked, brand new motor, pretty much. Yeah. I mean. Just, just yeah, literally other than the block. Literally other than the block, everything's brand new. Yeah. So it should not smoke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Like it's been for four years. Yeah. It was uh, kind of quiet yesterday too. It really was. I think it's it had with one, all like, the. a little puff of smoke, but the cylinders had oil for, from assembly. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that was probably just, um, you know, that turbo was, dude, that turbo went through five motors. Sure, that right. Turbo was, so, and then before the event, we want to try and cover that void. Yeah. From I think if we built something that... That just hugged that. Yeah. Yeah. And then just showed, like... We don't need that for the dyno, though, right? No. Okay. Not for them. No. I really like how those two contrast. Yeah. 
The pink and the blue? Yeah. Yeah. Even this, dude. The carbon yeah. and the, the blue. Oh, that's oh. gonna... Oh. Oh. <laughs> I wonder why it was yeah. so close. <laughs> then we got a rear bumper today, oh, yeah. so we'll paint that. Is there enough paint? Oh yeah. Okay. There's enough blue for sure. Okay, good. Um. And then. Yes, I'm thinking if we do bigger holes and we just yeah. do them down here. Yep. As long as there is holes for the air to not yeah. get stuck behind the bumper. Yeah. That would be good. That this. So we were going to cut the whole center out, it's but this rear tire mount dip is not <laughs> it pleasing. It looks better without a bumper. Like to show... Right, like if you're going to... Yeah, yeah, exactly. But now that it's painted... It, it really, it's like minus clean. all the dust nibs and my runs and such, like it's a totally different car. It really is. Yeah, the pink and the blue are... Real nice. Uh, for those judging, pink is uh, PFC's color, obviously. So we did a little smidgen of that to pay homage to and them. And, to go nines. and oh yeah, it's yeah, pink, yeah. Go nines, I forgot. I think. That's why the bug will never have any pink. Hey, because it can't go nines. It really does look good. Dude, it came out so good. And then you're gonna the run. This is just wide enough. To cover the bottom of that cooler mount. Sick. That's oh, perfect. Yeah. Then you're going to run these on the dyno on so you don't dyno. spin. It's probably dynos. That would um, be good. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't spin and we get actual numbers. That'll be good. It, I mean, I, those won't spin. No, no, no. These won't. Yeah. No. Yeah, I think we'll be good. Yeah. Okay. Well, you want to end it there and then we'll pick back up? When we're at the dyno? Yeah, let's do it. Okay.